Our today's story is about a holy profession, a doctor. When people say doctor, immediately caring person's image comes in our minds. But it was proved wrong by a doctor in Pakistan in early 80s. That doctor was Mr. Sarab Alam Khan, a Pakistani born physician. Sarab Khan obtained his medical training in the United States, specializing in cardiology. In the 1970s, he served as a fellow at Baylor University Medical Center Hospital in Dallas, Texas, returning to his native city of Lahore in 1981. Khan was born in Pakistan, but emigrated to the United States and eventually became a naturalized citizen. According to the Pakistani police he went to medical school at the University of Texas and from 1972 to 1974 he was a fellow at the cardiology department of Baylor University Medical Center at Dallas. His license to practice medicine in Texas was revoked in 1980 after he failed to pay his license fees, and in 1981, he returned to Lahore, where he lived together with his wife and two children in a wealthy suburb. A spokesman at Baylor said Khan had taken a two-year program of specialized training. Sarab Aslam Khan, a 42 years old man, a cardiologist who served as a fellow at Baylor University Medical Center Hospital in Dallas in the 1970s, was arrested and charged Thursday in the killings of 13 people, all committed in the past month just for fun. This brutal person disregarded his profession. Whatever homicidal fantasies were cultivated in his mind, Khan managed to conceal them through the fall of 1986, until, at 42, he lapsed into a month-long homicidal binge and slaughtered 13 victims. He preyed panic and fear in the Lahore city of Punjab, Pakistan, by his killings. All of the victims of Mr. Sarab Alam were hard-working poor people. His brutal killings continued for a short period during 80s. Khan last killed on Tuesday, when he gunned down a pharmacist in a drugstore. Khan's driver's license was found on a motorcycle at the scene, and police said that led to his arrest. Khan, the U.S. citizen who returned to Lahore in 1981, has admitted nine of the murders, four of which were committed during one evening of shootings along Lahore's main thoroughfare. Khan shot his victims, mainly night watchmen, rickshaw drivers and laborers, with a variety of weapons. When police searched his house they found two rifles, one shotgun, and three handguns with silencers, for which he had no license, as well as a large quantity of ammunition, three false Pakistani passports, and sketches of the places where he had shot his victims. Khan stalked four of his victims on November 13. Circling Lahore's Mall Road on a motorcycle, he killed a dog catcher, an unidentified man, a service station attendant and a night watchman. The doctor killed again on November 20, shooting two night watchmen and a rickshaw driver and dumping their bodies in a canal. Khan was also charged with killing a hotel waiter who failed to bring his order quickly enough, police said. They did not release details of the other murders. He is a beast not a human being, Punjab province police chief Sabahuddin Jami told a news conference. He described Khan as a maniac or saboteur who killed for the fun of it. The Punjab police did not release other details. The police said Dr. Khan, who is married with two children, would be held without bail at Lahore jail. If convicted, he could be sentenced to death. Kindly don't forget to subscribe and like our YouTube channel for more thrilling stories from across the globe. Thank you for watching this video.